good to start thank you thank you very much uh, so good very good evening folks uh, uh, my name is prasad uh, currently i work with uh, fujitsu and uh, i have uh, i'm taking you to the chapter 12 it has got a uh, uh, 12 pages and i thought that i'll just try to make some kind of a portrait stuff so this is about the a bit of background of the phonics project so i think uh, you know uh, i'm the i'm the youngest one to join this project and in the sense of the the uh, lately joiner in in that terms i'm talking about so you know probably i'm going to skip this uh, slide because you all know what is there into the uh, uh, entire book so i'll just move uh, to the notes which i have taken down the notes uh, which i'm going to complete in next 10 minutes or so so the phonics project was scheduled uh, uh, there is some kind of a change which was got scheduled at 5:30 pm on friday so specifically friday even uh, to be frankly with you all i have not seen that you know anything is getting scheduled specifically on the friday because the energy level is not that kind of uh, high level of course is based on the business needs and uh, we might have to go on with the changes production changes uh, till 7:30 uh, there was no news uh, to whether team should go ahead and implement the changes uh, phonics was not available in the test environment as well uh, because uh, there is some kind of crit- critical test was not been completed yet so everyone is in dilemma that whether we should go ahead and implement the change uh, there are some kind of a multiple issues high level issues uh, including applications which is developer machines is not working or there are some kind of a high level issues in terms of the codings likewise uh, even uh, they, they they observe the network ports issues uh, network issues also uh, which is causing at the uh, end user end uh, so bills uh, bill will calls vash uh, uh, patty willem into the office to to discuss about the further plans maybe and uh, because they understood that they are going to miss the critical timelines critical files and you know they are unable to configure some kind of a test environment and uh, if they couldn't move on they will not have that kind of uh, uh, liability or uh, the uh, firm discussion or firm uh, spot to go on to the uh, production environment uh, but still uh, willem is is absolutely uh, Uh, fine or he is keen to move that into the production environment and then they know that if that couldn't move uh, into the change the next day 8 am when uh, the uh, stores open they will have absolutely uh, high impact and that is going to lead into the revenue as well uh, vast tells bill that they have not reached where they supposed to in terms of the implementation of change uh the point will when that the team starts converting the database to interact the phonics project in the point of sale system it might have the major issues this is what have been observed and uh, still they are struggling to to get into the uh, uh, entire uh, entire database up and there are some kind of uh, uh, errors there are some kind of uh, uh, some kind of a table missing which have been observed in in the test phases also uh bill pulls sara uh, to the lobby and they want to discuss something which is that should be unknown to the team so they just come into the lobby and they try to discuss about the understanding of each other's point of view uh then they exchange the views that uh, you know we, we whether we should go ahead or not immediately sara responds that uh things go may quickly uh, may rightly or you know maybe wrong and frozen things when it comes to the technology because we couldn't uh, imagine what the technology interface may act uh, probably funnily at the last moment so they just want to they don't want to take a chance they don't want to take a risk but still there are some kind of a management people they want to go ahead rigorously and uh, implement the change uh vas says uh, the performance is terrible and uh, brain can't fix the problems uh, he also says that they cannot use the virtualization uh, to fix their server problems because development blame the performance problems uh, on the virtualization this point is very very crucial point because we all uh, in it you know more more than 5 to 10 years experience and we have seen that there is a os and uh, above the os layer we have the database so there is always cold war happen uh, between these two subject matter experts os and the 
uh, database that this is the fine tune problem, this is the database problem, and so on. So which we all have observed, and even they could get into the such uh, issues as well. Then the uh, senior director uh, program management, uh, Mike, they, they, they kick off the meeting 7 a.m. emergency and uh, point of sales uh, uh, system uh, will be down because of the database issues. They, they just want to declare this one. And the good news is that Phoenix site is up and running. However, if we could think that Phoenix is up, but the database is down, uh, we all know that nothing is going to be as, as conditioned as uh, it, it, it was previously. So I don't think so. This is absolutely a, a cherished moment for them because database is down, so the application. So I don't think so. You know, this is really cherished moment for those people. Saturday 2 uh, p.m., uh, Bill says bottom is further down uh, than the thought. All transactions are being processed manually. The customer uh, on the website are complaining about the how it is slow and the unusable. Of course, we all know that database tables are not fine-tuned Database is not absolutely uh, fine-tuned along with the, there are some kind of a technical parameters, then this is not going to be useful at the customer end. The query, the moment you give some kind of a queries within the database, it will not give the answers which you are expecting. Uh, finally, they land up in absolutely uh, uh, bad news uh, that the data which they are expecting, it is not at, at, at par there is a leakage of the customer database. There is uh, some kind of a credit card number, credit card uh, but database is getting exposed and that have been into the uh, social media. So this is the moment where they should concentrate. And even we all seen uh, that uh, if we could get such kind of news that uh, Domino's might be the, the latest fresh example they have, uh, the leakage of the database and that have been flowed into the social media. So these are the issues which they have been facing since long and they couldn't uh, resolve such issues within the within the time span. So uh, my, my last slide says about the learnings, uh, what I have could or we should take as a learning and probably we should not uh, uh, implement those ones within our official life and we should we should expand for process support to, to maintain maintain the, the data integrity. Uh, adopting the border approach of the DevOps, uh, even my, my past experience is that uh, some kind of organization, some kind of a departments, they're a bit reluctant to adopt some kind of a, a standard practices which have been implemented in the probably another department or some other organization or which is which could be aligned to the global level which i'm referring to the uh, itl or devops or the agile methodologies so they they have to open their mindset and acceptance should be there there is two concepts which i just want to want to face your attention there is acceptance and there is unlearn my unlearn point of view is that we have learned something and in other project or some other organization probably we have to unlearn which we have as a background because the newer project or newer organization might have something else which could be the best from the previous ones. So this is my point of view to unchange and we have to accept the new change. So this is the you know border approach. This is what my reference. The managing into the changes, uh, if we have some kind of foolproof, uh, the way I might have done some kind of a changes or we have done some kind of a changes within the test environment, I should have some kind of strong evidence, strong screenshots, which is by, accepted by the subject matter experts. And then probably we can go ahead that this is the foolproof. This is the risk which have been medicated. This is the time frame which I could see that my change could get completed within the time frame, So these things matter really a lot. Sometimes it, it has hamper to the financials also. So change management is absolutely vital role within the service management. The culture, uh, of course, we all know that this is a cultural differences. Once we say that development and the operations or the, uh, the operations management infrastructure team has got a, some kind of a cold wars in every organization. So this is a culture which we might have to change. 
everyone has got a some kind of a, a, a timelines or task which has been designed so everyone has to respect the other person task or other division task we couldn't say or we haven't say or we should not say that this team have done a bad job because we are not in their shoes if we could then we might not say like that so this is the cultural aspect which i give a more stress that we we as as a people it people have to build up a different culture together if anything fails take this opportunity does this this sentence does not mean that, that always you keep failing and you are learning something and you treat as a new opportunity no even even couple of my earlier exams or couple of my earlier change or incident management when i was leading the team of 50 members even i fail many times but but now i have got a full proof plan because based on my experience and i say that if you could do this one definitely you're going to fail if you could apply this one you guys are not going to fail so this is the failure which i have taken as a opportunity and i have grown up or even rather than we all have grown up so we have to take that as a new opportunity last point very 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 important point as a standard practice uh, across the organization we, we even i have seen that only couple of projects couple of departments have their were standard practices across however some of the projects some of the people they are a bit reluctant so it shouldn't happen we should have kind of organization level practice qms probably and and then there should be some kind of a, a governance which everyone can keep it and we can keep uh, trying to fill those gaps by by having some kind of a strong audits or governance type of things so this is what my learnings are so here my my chapter 12 ends uh, definitely i would be happy uh, if any any anyone wants to have further drill down or dig down on this particular chapter 12 thank you guys yeah thanks prasad that was wonderful uh, you have covered everything in the chapter and it was very clear and crisp and precise to the point and the learnings which you have i think uh, added really that adds up and so uh, we can also learn something out of it even in our real life and in our projects not only to the book but also we can implement these in the, in the projects also yeah. 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 thank you thank you prasad uh, for reading and sharing your learning as well i think uh, one of the really effective ways uh, i am seeing so far uh, in this series of uh, brc uh, so yes thank, thanks for bringing it up uh, very precise uh, to the point and i believe uh, you covered the story uh, very well uh, so yes for me uh, i think uh, even that storytelling aspect was really good so you kept us connected uh, to it uh, and maybe a meaningful thread so thanks thanks for that and again maybe the key take away is uh, that that's what maybe i had to ask uh, last time i don't know what are our key take away is uh, but thanks thanks for uh, maybe calling those out now th- those are the maybe key uh, take away or key learnings uh, i think that's that's what we are looking forward to yeah so yeah job well done thank you thank you so much thank you thank you very much thank you yeah sure would you like to continue uh, uh, i'll stop my screen sharing Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, I will just share my screen. Yeah. So, chapter uh, 13. Okay, so uh, chapter thirteen. Uh, this chapter is mainly on the next uh, day. So that's they had a very hectic weekend, as we uh, read in the previous chapter, and uh, it's on the uh, Monday morning. Uh, and in this entire chapter, there are mainly uh, two meetings that uh, you know Bill has been through, and not I would say a meeting, but uh, there are two rooms, and uh, he's trying to. Uh, cover that scenario uh, that what's exactly happening in those uh, two rooms so basically chapter 13 is all about 
what happened after they uh, went live with the Phoenix deployment and all the issues that occurred. So what exactly uh, the teams, uh, you know, how they have to address all those issues and uh, what finance team is doing uh, due to this uh, all mess up. So the, this chapter starts uh, with that, uh, starting with the meeting with the uh, Steve, that CEO. So he has gathered everyone in the uh, meeting room, so Phoenix War Room, and he's addressing the entire team that, you know, the main focus now should be to restore the normal business operations. And we have to, you know, he think at the moment, we don't have to discuss what exactly, you know, who is responsible for all these things. We have to just focus on what exactly and how soon we can restore all the business operations. So because what exactly happening is due to uh, POC failure, uh, all, this, uh, all the operations in all these stores is being done manually. And that has, you know, screw, uh, screwed everything uh, for the stores managers. So once, uh, and after that, uh, there was one more uh, demand from the Steve was that he wants everyone uh, for a 15 minutes, he want to discuss something. And once everything is normal, uh, he want everyone uh, should be, uh, you know, meeting with a set of meeting, a set of meeting with the Steve, uh, you know, Sarah, Chris, Bill, and everyone. And uh, he asked them to meet him after the entire things are back to the normal. So once Steve has uh, completed his uh, discussion, uh, uh, his uh, talks, he went to his uh, uh, room. So you now Sarah started saying that the POC systems, are, you know, we, we should be focusing on the POC system and also the Phoenix usability issues. So uh, Bill interrupted that, you know, we are hardly keeping the, uh, the systems up and we are already putting a lot of effort. So it's not possible to, do both the things so they quickly have a discussion and development team also supported bill's point of view that we should be just focusing on restoring the uh, POC system because that's the main system that should, uh, you know business was running on so they concluded that you know regain pause functionality should be their priority and Bill surprisingly got the full support from Chris, uh, the development team, and uh, you know that we have read in the previous uh, uh, chapters that there was no support uh, to the operation uh, team from the development part, and they were just uh, saying uh, yes uh, to this uh, whatever demand Sarah was putting up. So yeah, that was a shocking response from uh, Chris uh, that uh, you know Bill observed. So once they this they uh, he left the Phoenix War Room. So there was another uh, room in front of him, and their all finance team was uh, you know uh, sitting and trying to uh, what exactly happened is due to this particular issue, the uh, entire uh, uh, the finance team was receiving all uh, faxes, and these faxes was having uh, all the bills details. So due to this thing, some of the customers were. Uh, you know, their orders or their uh, transactions were duplicated and some of them, uh, you know, were charged and necessary. So this finance team was all sitting and doing this manual work of deduplication and reversing uh, all the transactions which was happening. So this was uh, a very big task uh, just to understand uh, he has given is uh, there was a team of four uh, people who, uh, who are just calculating, reconciling all the calculation and making sure uh, you know, all those things which used to be done by the systems are uh, correct or in the correct, uh, you know, all the numbers are matching. So at the moment, uh, they, there are around 5,000 customers, uh, you know, that uh, they had uh, either duplicate payment or the missing orders and estimated uh, pending customers are, pending transactions are 25,000. So they have to process all these things. So this uh, you know uh, this deployment has done a big uh, impact on the existing systems so when uh, bill was observing all this uh, with the finance team uh, then john uh, came to that particular room so john is the uh, 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 john is the security uh, i am not able to recall uh, 
okay chief information security officer so he came into the room and he was just uh, you know going through and he saw one of the uh, printed page uh, so where he uh, saw that you know the three digit cv v number was printed on that so as per the government rules as per the standard industry rule they are not supposed to process this information and store this information uh, anywhere so this is a very big security breach so they uh, he quickly noticed this issue and want to, you know to fix this as soon as possible or he said should destroy the entire uh, faxes which we are getting but what bill suggested is, uh, suggested is we cannot do it because you know we might have already charged a customer uh, extra or we would be charging uh, our customer extra or we might not be taking uh, the money from them so uh, we cannot do it then they quickly turned then how can we minimize this thing so the thing uh, which john suggested is we should keep the minimum people processing this entire information and second is there was the audit going on on the down floor so we should keep the audit team away from the entire room so what they have done is john uh, went to the uh, went to the auditors and they just uh, rearranged their meetings to another building so that they are not near the uh, this entire processing room meanwhile bill was just handling uh, the entire uh, finance team and you know uh, discussing how we can what exactly the issue they got it and how we can uh, manage with this issue so that was a scene and finally uh, you know they managed to uh, uh, do uh, these two things so the uh, there was another thing uh, that uh, phoenix uh, sorry bill was supposed to uh, submit so it was uh, there was some internal audit report uh, sox for response letter that he was supposed to uh, submit on monday morning but Uh, due to the his entire weekend was occupied and he was not able to do uh, this thing so he just uh, you know john uh, the, again the information security officer asked him were you able to get it uh, get it done but uh, he clearly explained that uh, none of his team member was free and he cannot do it so um, you know out of nowhere john uh, uh, said that okay some of my teammates or uh, you know would be helping you on this one so that we can uh, finish this task too. so this was uh, to uh, he ended the chapter uh, saying that you know uh, i could not assume uh, you know uh, i don't wonder if the fatigue is getting to me or something is really is going in the world when i am finding reasons to thanks uh, development and security team in the same day so that was a you know in terms of this response it was a good day for uh, bill i would say so what i have taken out of this chapter is the first thing is uh, you know uh, when uh, once the things got messed up they clearly focused on how to recover as soon as possible and they were not just playing the blame game that usually uh, we might see in our uh, teams that you know uh, something goes wrong and we started uh, uh, pinging or we started just blaming each other so that was a good thing and second it was a coordinated effort and previously it was development and security team they were not uh, uh, have a good uh, coordination or good uh, uh, communication in between them but now uh, they are just uh, thinking about uh, both of their uh, concerns and uh, and they wanted to you know work as a team and wanted to fix the entire things yeah so that was about chapter 13 yep thanks sir for chapter 13 uh so i think should we stop here or should we continue because i have read chapter 14 and i can give some insights but uh, if we need to stop we can stop and we can take this on uh, next time Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's that's what even I feel. So that you know, maybe those who are missing uh, for because of some genuine reasons. Uh, so yeah, let let uh, let's ask them to come up with the twelve and thirteen number chapter. So yep. everyone will read those twelve and thirteen numbers uh, that that they have missed. Yep. And yes, fourteen, fifteen onwards. So we can take in the next section. 
so thanks to him uh, for walking us through uh, the last chapter uh, so overall yes what i'm understanding is that you know maybe that parts are unlimited right <laughs> it is again getting into the maybe unlimited fun as well yeah what <laughs> <laughs> to come yeah what to yeah, come in the next chapter what to come <laughs> <laughs> so not just and maybe think, single thing on yeah. maybe customer side or maybe just target or uh, date date wise target but yes now security and everything else seems to be coming into the picture yeah yeah like bill bill is really enjoying his new position right <laughs> yes yes <laughs> the security aspects are uh, not getting pushed probably the security trainings or security precautions not been majored at that uh, time yeah because no one has idea right about it yeah. you know security team was saying that oh maybe yes who knows about it that this, this is something you are doing it Uh-huh. Uh, all the silos so maybe development team didn't know about it security <laughs> security they knew about it but they were not into the game <laughs> and when they came into the game maybe it was pretty late <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes so we'll see how how parts unlimited evolves from here mm. uh, and then again we we are seeing that what ves is dealing with yes what yes. has happened on the social media how customers are responding and then the press and everything so yeah it's a good situation it's been only best. three weeks yeah this job and i'm just saying oh <laughs> we is completely you know facing issues every week one issue is coming his way yes <laughs> so it's slow uh, we see, see slowly, slowly how uh, maybe he overcomes it or whether he will be able to overcome or what what happens to bill uh, will definitely come to see coming yes yes yeah, true yeah. you can see yeah. uh, you know glimpse of positive changes uh, you know when i was reading chapter 13 i was happy that now finally the sara is getting out out of the picture not getting out of the picture but you know the development team is giving less importance to her because in one of the previous meetings whatever sara was saying uh, they were just saying yes yes to her uh, everything so now they realize what mistake they have done so and they are rectifying it in a good way So that's a good thing. Absolutely. And I think uh, this is what even uh, Prasad mentioned about his learning of chapter 12, right? So taking those failures or setbacks as a learnings. Uh, so yes, I think in such kind of a chaos, uh, maybe we need at least one or two people uh, who who can keep their mind cool, uh, calm, and while they are frustrated, uh, they are still finding maybe good things that are happening on the go. And that's where maybe uh, Bill called it out, right? that he is glad to see that you know maybe these these two things are coming together closer and he is hearing something good uh, from development as well as security team yeah and on that on that not sorry i'll take just one minute to tell you something about that the way you said that you know we all have to be being as a senior people we might have to keep our head cool when something comes up even i wasn't cool when i started my career my boss you know if any incident one or high priority used to come to me i was a bit panicked then i used to ran my boss that this is this is how it is then he he was so cool okay okay then one fine day i asked him how you can be so cool so he gave me only two sentences that uh, there is there, there is a soldier who is who is standing in the in the border having the guns in the hand and he said that uh, if i couldn't hit them uh, i may die okay if i they couldn't hit me so they may they, they may die but if i could do something mischief with within you know thousands of thoughts and you know uh, without thinking if i could shoot something major happen so sky is not going to fall so hang on for a second at least think twice what you want to do and then go ahead so you can save yourself at least and then you can save others so try to save ourselves first and then the others absolutely so any change uh, that comes our way uh, will not just test us uh, on the technical and tools front or the methodology and processes front but what it really tests is maybe our perseverance uh, how can we deal with that pressure uh, and maybe test the real character uh, that you know, how, how we cope up with that situation so that emotional journey right how how do we handle those emotion fluxes on the go 
and that's it uh, once who knows the how to deal with it i think rest everything our teams are much more than smarter than what we are in terms of tools and technology knowledge they they know what all to do and how to take care of this thing uh, maybe yeah, just kind of a leadership that bill is providing uh, to the uh, and how how to navigate the path uh, in such kind of uh, mess so we'll see but that will be an interesting learning <laughs> I guess it's right to say Bill is like the MS Dhoni of IT. Yeah, yeah. keep me cool now. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But good, uh, good to learn. Uh, good to hear from you, chapter number twelve as well as thirteen. And uh, we'll definitely continue uh, surfaz with. Yeah, yeah, sure, definitely. Yeah. Uh, maybe one thing we might need to do is uh, uh, just share what we learned today, uh, what approach we took. and then maybe for next sunday if we can expect everyone on the team uh, to go through chapter number 12 and 13 so that you can know that gap is closed and they can again connect to the story yeah sure yeah i'll just stop recording for now maybe we can sure. discuss for next week